visit Chinatown, Melbourne, Australia, and you'll see a business area that dates back to the 1850s gold rush. You're standing in the location of the longest continuous Chinese settlement in the Western world. Just two blocks away is the office of the Australian China Business Council. Before 1978, China was a closed, small economy. And in the short space of 40 years, it grew to the second largest economy in the world. And what does that mean for Australia? China is in now our number one trading partner. Chinese companies are very welcome to invest in Australia. We are not a nation of savers, and we need foreign investment to maintain our quality of life, to create jobs and economic growth. We're five kilometres from the Australian city of Geelong. The artwork on these silos, part of an abandoned cement works, is an example of how a new generation Australia-China company is giving back to the local community. The company, up-and-coming property developer, ICD Property. How and why is part of a much bigger story that begins with ICD's philosophy of doing more than just making sales. Chinese-born Australian-educated Michael Mai, founder and CEO of ICD Properties, explains. My approach for business is have fun, do good, make money. Because have fun is not just like uh, being playful. It's more about enjoy, being passionate about what you do. And then do good is about giving back to your customer, giving back to the community. And to make money is definitely just financial outcomes and we believe it is in that order as well. ICD has already completed over a thousand residences, along with commercial and retail spaces. They currently have $2 billion worth of projects in the pipeline across Australia and New Zealand. For ICD, innovation is at the core of what we do. ICD actually stands for Innovative Construction and Development. So we set out with a, a very clear goal at the start of each project that we need to integrate a life-changing innovation. EQ Tower in Melbourne CBD. 63 floors, 633 apartments. This is one of the tallest buildings in Melbourne and a good example of ICD's life-changing innovation. The development here, in line with the concept of giving back, is reframing the way developers engage with the local community. The Borka concept on the ground floor of EQ Tower is a community dining and start-up concept that has changed the Melbourne food landscape. It's all about the hustle and bustle of the street. It's, um, you know, the, the food, the vibe and the smells that you get in the Hawker Centre is, is second to none. Modelled on an Asian hawker market, Hawker functions as a startup incubator, showcasing four individual kitchens that host concept or pop-up kitchens that rotate on a three to six month basis. It's an example of how Matthew, who was born in Australia, and Michael work together to draw on the strengths of the Chinese and Australian business markets and cultures to create a unique viewpoint. That viewpoint finds us here, 75 kilometres from Melbourne. The ICD philosophy of giving back to the community led to the company enhancing this former industrial site. Although they don't own the site, it's next to their residential development, Gen Finesford. These unused silos, long considered eyesores, were painted by Geelong-born, internationally renowned street artist, Roan, commissioned by ICD. Bruce Harwood, Mayor of Geelong, explains. It came through the um, Arts and Culture um, Department of, of the Council, um, talking to the community what they, what they would like to have seen up there, so, um, and that translated into um, you know, the Korean records um, from the Wadarong, uh, traditional owners of the land, which is, which is a great story. Cor Horston, um, who worked at the Cement Works for, I think, over 35 years, so he had a great story to tell about the history of the site and the operations. And then Kelly Cartwright, who's a great story, local girl, Paralympian, dual gold medalist, so we really um, touched on the community aspects and people who are, who are involved in the community and have a real good story to tell, so that was translated onto the silo, so that's, I think that's one of the main reasons it's become so popular. In addition to benefiting communities associated with its projects, 
ICD partners with some of Australia's leading charities and not-for-profit organisations through its affiliated charity, the My Foundation. One program is YMCA Youth for Causes. The philosophies between YMCA and the My Foundation are really aligned, particularly in our shared belief in the power of inspired young people and also the power of business to create positive social impact. My Foundation is a family-run foundation. It's a vehicle for us, for the family, to give back. And what of the future? Giving back also looks to safeguard the environmental dimension. We've got some really exciting projects to work with great partners um, and the community. Uh, we've got some projects that uh, are working with organisations that care a lot about the sustainability of our land. Um, and that gives us an opportunity to see how that can be best integrated into development. Working closely with local government and partners like Heritage Victoria, ICD has developed their Gen Finesford site as a casebook example of how to turn a former industrial site into a sustainable community with a green future. Here in Sydney, the sustainability challenge is different. To preserve the integrity of an iconic landmark while building a boutique hotel and residential tower. You know, the City Tattersalls Club, a 120-year-old heritage club, where we're going to help with the sustainability of, of their club into the future. In recent years, Australia's booming property market has seen some developers looking to increase profits and get to market faster by cutting corners. As a purpose-driven company, ICD measures success not only by the bottom line, but also by the lasting impact each development has on the landscape and people, and by giving back.